Hey, welcome back to Good Day. He's not just a painter. He's the wall wizard. <laughs> Brian Santos in town for the Collin County Home and Garden Show, which is this weekend yeah. at the Allen Event Center. Does it start today? It actually starts today at yeah. 2 o'clock, and I'm okay. doing a class at 4.30, painting secrets, all the th things you need to know about right. how to paint. You've brought in some gadgets, and yeah. you've got yet another, what, what book number is this? This is number 14. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, number yeah. 14 book. Yeah, we have some great tips in there. Seriously. I'm going to steal this one because it's going to save me. i got a little <laughs> project going on at the house. For you, man. Okay, let's start over here. Sometimes this will happen. I've got one of these holes in the wall that I need to patch right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. You know, this is one of the most common things, either a yeah. doorknob, you know, somebody comes to bang or, you know, right. maybe a car ran into the garage door. That could yeah, happen. that could happen. Possibly. A couple of things right off the bat. First thing, don't use toothpaste. That's an old wives' tale right. and it'll whiten and brighten from the inside out. So don't do that yeah. when you paint over it. So a couple other things we like to do. This is called a patch. Uh, cover. And I've this seen is, that at my neighborhood yeah. home improvement store. And what this is is actually steel plate with a mesh and you just go over the hole like this mm -hmm. and then what we use is something called dry decks. Now what's right. interesting about this is it's a product that starts pink and then it turns white as it actually dries out. So you'll know that it's actually thoroughly dry before you right. go on to the next layer. Another one that I like to use is this. This is called a nail hole filler and what I like about this is it's like um, deodorant for the walls. So you just sort yeah. of go like this and you come over and you can actually fill a hole and then it has its own built-in scraper right off the top. So it's pretty simple. Right. It's all at the home improvement you know, centers and so forth. Oh yeah, yeah. A couple other things too. Now once you've got the walls fixed, mm -hmm. how do you select the colors? Right, okay? exactly. This is a little trick. What I like to do is actually paint the color on the foam core boards instead of using these uh, little samples. Okay. And that way you can see, and also on top of that, you can see the color through so you can see how it matches onto the other colors in the rooms. So oh, okay. Little simple idea. Okay, great. So you can hold it up to the furniture, you can hold it up to the That's other it. wall. Yeah, and exactly. a little secret too, always look at it vertically, Tim. Okay. okay. Never horizontally because light is color and color is light. And so this is how right. we can tell what color looks like. I heard a rumor as we're about ready to remove some wallpaper in our house that <laughs> wallpaper is coming back. Maybe we should just cover it up. Yeah, it should. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Wall coverings are coming back in a huge way. And the real styles here are graphics. We're seeing black and white tone on tones. Mm -hmm. We're seeing natural materials like grass cloth, but also we're seeing synthetics. Now, this is sort of interesting. You can get the brick look without actually wow. having brick. Yeah. And also metallics, which were mylars and foils, but these have dimension. And also you can get things like stonework. That is amazing. Isn't that cool? Yeah. yeah that gives you you, you want to touch it and you see if it's real. You want to touch it. Exactly. Yeah. So all these kind of things. Now, we have to get to the practical stuff, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. One of the things I like to do is talk about painting from the pantry. So to keep the skin, your skin from getting paint on it, use a little bit of Pam. And it actually is non-stick okay. and the paint won't stick, okay? Other things too for cleaning, we like to use wet ones, mm -hmm. okay? Don't use like soap and water because it leaves a residue. But if you use wet ones or rubbing alcohol, that's okay. another one that'll degrease, degloss, but it also evaporates, doesn't leave water in the uh, materials. Right. The other thing too, a couple other things really fast is in order to be able to paint properly, you never want to just stick the brush in. So here's a little trick, magnet. Oh, really? Yeah, this way you can actually now dip and wiggle and pat, and then you can set the brush up like this. Let and all the drips back in yeah. and so forth. Now, a couple other things, a little qu quick touch up. This is a really new d device that actually has a touch up roller, so you can store your paint right there and it has you can turn it on and off as far as the be able to oh, um, that's brilliant. yeah and it stores like this but the last thing i want to share with you is oh, how no. to clean a brush yes, in 10 yes, yes. seconds and this is it fabric softener really a half a cup of fabric softener and a gallon of water will clean any water-based brush in 10 seconds or less this is a 10 year old brush smell Oh, oh, yeah. oh, smells baby. like it just came out of the dryer. <laughs> there you go. Check out Brian at uh, today through Sunday at the Allen Event Center at the Collin County Home and Garden Show. And we have more information on fox4news.com. We have more to come here on Good Day.